Hi, this is Sherry, and I blog over at SherryGram.com, and I am excited today to do a little video tour of the SchoolhouseTeachers.com website. If you're not familiar with SchoolhouseTeachers.com, it is a curriculum membership site for homeschooling families, and it provides curriculum for children from age preschool all the way up through high school and beyond. There are even courses for adults. So this site is so massive. I hope that I can do it justice, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the different areas of this website, show you what's here. I am currently an ultimate member, which means that I have access to all of the curriculum all the way up through the high school level. There is a a cheaper membership option that you can choose that will give you access to everything except for the upper grades, the high school grade stuff. But I have the ultimate membership, so I'm going to be able to show you what is all available for all ages. So I think I'm going to start with just the start here. And this just gives you kind of an introduction to schoolhouse teachers, kind of tells you a little bit about homeschooling, um, what it is, why you would want to homeschool. There's just a little bit here for um, just to kind of introduce you to it. This quick links page, this is a page that you can use that gives you a quick look at all of the courses. Uh, a lot of people like to bookmark this page because it's an easy way to see what all is in uh, the Schoolhouse Teachers uh, curriculum library, but they're divided by subject. And there's just, if you go through here, there's a link to the lesson plan page and a link to just the, the course page where you can get more information. So as you can see, here's, um, art. They're kind of in alphabetical order. Here's all the art courses. Here's all the Bible courses, the computer and technology, drama and speech, electives, foreign languages, geography, health and fitness, history, which includes American history and ancient history. There's even some Bible history, church history in there. Um, language arts, all kinds of language arts courses from spelling and grammar to writing, literature, all kinds of stuff. Um, here's math and there are math courses for kids all the way from preschool all the way up through the high school level classes like algebra, geometry, uh, pre-calculus and calculus, trigonometry, um, lots and lots of, of math courses. There's some music classes for the younger ones, preschoolers, there's also some like violin lessons, music or, or voice lessons, and guitar. So there's some of those things you could check out. They have a whole section here for preschoolers. I tell you, if I had some younger kids, I would have a ball with this. Um, but my youngest is 10, and so I probably won't be utilizing the preschool area. But there is a bunch here from learning the ABCs to manners to arts and crafts and language arts and math stuff, all kinds of stuff. There's a whole section for science, all kinds of science. And again, for the young kids all the way up through high school, uh, there's one of the fun curriculum things I saw here was the friendly, uh, friendly anatomy and friendly chemistry. I've heard lots of good things about that curriculum, and that is actually included in your membership here. So there's all kinds of stuff from biology, life science, earth science, uh, all kinds of stuff. Here's social studies, citizenship, economics, finance, all kinds of stuff there. Then there is a section just for parents. And this was really amazing to me how much stuff is here for the parents and uh, anything from homeschooling type classes to parenting to um, maybe some help in like teaching you how to teach math, helping you with uh, kids that are having a hard time in certain subjects. So there's a lot of things here. There's marriage classes, uh, 
even some Whole Foods, Whole Foods cooking with Sue Gregg. That's really cool. Then they have a holiday and season resource center where they have a bunch of stuff divided up by the holidays. So this is the quick links page and it's just an easy way for you to see what uh, courses and stuff are available. Now, if you want to browse by grade, they have it all divided up here. They have some things that are that you can do together. Then they have the elementary level, middle school and high school. So let me just let me just click on one of these. Let's just go to second grade and I'll just show you what it looks like. It'll come up with a page for second grade and then it will have the different subjects. So let's say you're looking for something for your second grader for math. So you can click on the math tab and I'm going to actually go into one of the courses so you can see what is there. So we'll click on the second grade math. It has a little key up here that will show you the, the different components of that class, whether it's downloadable text, whether it's interactive, whether there's a video component or an audio component, whether it's for high school. They have um, a couple of media resources that they use right now, media and world book. Those are two resources they they uh, give you instructions on setting up your free accounts with them so that you can access the videos that are on, on those two the videos. And there's eBooks on World Book, lots of stuff on there. So let's say we're looking for a second grade math. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through. There's Algebra for Kids, All About Shapes, Everyday Games. Okay, this one looks good, Stepping Up with Second Grade Math. So let's just click on that one. Okay, this is the course page and it sh this shows you the length of the course is 36 weeks. So this is enough curriculum to last you a whole year. It includes slideshows and assignments. So it kind of tells you a little bit about the course and then you can go to the lessons, to the class lessons page. Okay. Now on this page, it has the looks like it has the assignments divided up by a week and then it has what to print out for each day. So it looks like it has a slideshow for lesson one and then a couple PDFs. So let's just take a look at one of these real quick. Just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, it looks like it downloaded the PowerPoint presentation. So I'm gonna open it up real quick. Hopefully. Okay, so here it shows um, counting and number recognition. Here it has counting by ones. I wonder if, let me see. I wonder if it has slideshow. Okay. I didn't know if this had audio with it or not. looks like it just kind of gives you some visual and some kind of instructions as you go through the PowerPoint slides. You just go ahead and get out of that and go back. Okay, so you would maybe go through that on day one and then day two, it would have Okay, then here it has some worksheets that you can practice. Looks like filling in missing numbers. And here's some more, counting by tens and hundreds and thousands. So it gives you the, all the information that you need 
to do the lessons and the printouts and everything. So that's one example of, uh, let me go to, let's say I wanna browse by subject and I wanna find something for history. So I like to do our science and history all together as much as possible. So I could look for something that would be something that I could use for everybody. So let me look at the history courses that are available. Taking a little bit of time. To load. Try to refresh it. Sorry about this, sometimes there site gets kind of busy. Okay, here are the history courses. Well, it didn't load all of them, just a second. Okay. I should mention too that along with the courses on the top here, they also have unit studies, history, geography, and social studies unit studies that you could go to and access those if you'd like to do unit studies. So there's just a little bit here for everybody. Sorry, this is taking a little bit. Sometimes their website gets busy and it takes a little bit and it could be that my kids are on the internet and causing it to slow down, but we'll try to get through this. Okay, so here we have, um, so here we have the history courses. This was just the subject of history and it includes the courses, it includes um, unit studies here and then you can scroll through and look at all of them And then on down here, you can browse by grade as well. So you can do it a lot of different ways. So let me go back up to the top here and see if we can't get into something. So I can show you a little bit of what the history, what some of the history things look like. All right, let me go back down here. Okay, I want to find a history, 
Oh, that's the unit studies. I'm going to go back up to the courses. I am sorry, this is going so slow here. Okay, let me let this load here. We'll get over to one of the history. Oh, let me get back here. Okay. You can see they've got history, American history, church history, civil rights. They've got some on different countries. Okay, here's what I wanted to get to. We love the drive through history DVDs in our house. And I was so excited to see that Schoolhouse Teachers has, at least they have the licensing to use them, I think through next summer. But they have the drive through history, American history, and they also have the ancient history series. So you can, um, let me just go to the lessons page and show you. But this would be a wonderful, you can use it for, it says sixth through ninth grades, but my younger kids enjoy it as much as the older ones. But if you go to the course page, then you can click on, it has all the episodes here, and just click on the episode. Okay, and then here it has episode one and it even has a worksheet that you can print out that goes with it. And then you just simply click play and you can maximize it and watch the drive through history video. See? Anyway, so um, that is something really cool. And I did see the drive through history. It looks like they've their license is up in July of 2018. So they're hoping to renew the license. So, um, but anyway, but that gives you an idea. Some of the, the courses are video based and then they have worksheets that go with it. Some of them are strictly um, just textbooks type things that you print out. Uh, they're working on getting lesson plans created for all of them. So if you don't want to create your own lesson plans, you can print out the ones that they have for you and it will outline like what to do each day, like the pages to read or the worksheets to do. And it kind of divides up the course over a school year or a half a year, a term, depending on, you know, how long the course is supposed to be for. So here's again, you can browse by grade. If you're looking for a specific grade level in a subject or you can grab browse by subject and see what else there now as far as planning this is a whole area that they have put together um, the latest news is where they alert you when they've added new courses to the site schoolhouse planners let me just go there real quick schoolhouse planners is their planners that they put out each year that you have access to and you can download them okay there's homeschool planners there's just regular planners so there's those that you can download let's see what else lesson plans okay here is where they're working on getting the lesson plans done for all of the courses but they don't have them all done yet but here is the page where you can find all of the courses that they have lesson plans done for and then there's links so if I go on down here they've got them divided by topic by subject so here you can see all the art ones and then there's Bible ones down here and then it goes through all of the subjects so you can find the different ones that do have lesson plans available Scope and sequence. This is a really, really cool thing that I found, and it's a great resource if you are not quite sure what all that you should cover or want to cover for a particular grade level. You can download one of their scope and sequence charts, and it will give you all the different things that are available on the Schoolhouse Teacher site for that grade level. Now they have scope and sequences by grade or by subject. 
So I'm just going to pick one of these. I'm going to pick, let's just pick sixth grade. I'm going to open one of these up so that you can see exactly what I mean. And they've got clickable links in here so you can go right to, um, you know, the topics, the courses they're talking about. So they have the scope and sequences for sixth grade divided by subject. So here they've got art and music and they have some suggestions there. And then they have what's particular specifically on the Schoolhouse Teacher site. They've got links to all the different courses or pages that refer to different types of art and music. Here's some music theory and stuff like that. Here's some com computer and technology classes that your sixth grader could take. There's drama and speech. There's different electives that they could choose from, all kinds of electives. I was so surprised when I saw how much is on here for electives. I mean, I was excited even to see, um, I don't see it on the sixth grade one, but they even have an elective for like how to start a podcast and using a podcast to change the world. And I thought that was so cool. So anyway, okay, back to this sixth grade language arts talks about reading, about having them read. And then it has spelling that's available for all grades, literature, here's some literature information. Um, then they have what's available on the schoolhouse website, the different literature units that you could do lots and lots here writing and composition for sixth grade here's what's on the schoolhouse teacher site for writing there's logic um, classic based writing writing mechanics daily writing writing on this day in history lots of different options that you can choose from this isn't something where you do everything that it says it's just giving you all the options so that you can pick and choose you know what interests your child and what fits their particular learning style and their interests. So here's grammar. Then we even have some listening skills. There's drama and speech, uh, research skills. There's health, even there's health classes. And then here's the, they kind of give you a kind of a timeline for maybe what you would want to cover in each grade for history. And then they actually give you then some ideas for history, what you could cover, and then what is on the Schoolhouse Teacher site that would cover those areas. So again, there's just so much here. There's geography, um, additional geography, there's social studies, citizenship, economics, math that's geared for sixth grade, um, science, all the science stuff that you could do for sixth grade. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just amazing all that's on here. So that's the scope and sequences, and that was under the planning. Um, the custom schedule builder, they provide some free printable schedules that you can type into to customize them to create your own schedule for your kids. So they've got those printables that you can do, that you can use. They also have, as a member of Schoolhouse Teacher, you will have access to a record keeping program. And I'll get to it in just a second, as soon as it stops thinking. But you have access to a record keeping program that you can, uh, they help you create a free account. And it's called, let me go to the record keeping tab. I think it's called Apple Core is the name of it. I have not had a chance to set up my account there yet. But it's, it's actual, an actual software online that helps you keep track of all of your um, homeschool records, keeps track of your grades. You can create report cards with it and I think maybe transcripts possibly. Um, so some reason it didn't go. Let me try it again. But that account comes free when you purchase a, mem a membership with Schoolhouse Teachers that you get, that you're able to, yeah, it's Apple Core. So again, um, there's, 
Yeah, it's a course tracker, grade reporting, report cards, portfolio, attendance. So you have access to that as a member of Schoolhouse Teachers. If you especially want help, like in the high school years, keeping track of those grades, that's a wonderful resource to use. Now, let me go back. Okay, I think that was it under the planning. Let me see if there was anything else. Okay, planning. Okay, they have a course checklist. And this kind of goes through like how you can plan your courses. You know, you grab one of the planners, you view the master course checklist, then you can use the blank monthly uh, printable checklist to figure out what you need to, to schedule for each day. And so it kind of gives you a little planning help there. Then there's also a bunch of different options for printable calendars that you can use. And they provide those there that you can, you know, monthly calendars, uh, I think they've got yearly calendars. So there's those there that you can use too. Okay, now I wanna go into the resources. Now, there's, again, there's so much here that I'm sorry this is taking a while, but I just wanted to show you everything that there is here. So I'm gonna open up some of these things here so we can look at them. Okay, let's start with the Molly Green. Um, Molly Green is a kind of like a homesteading, homemaking. Um, it used to have its own magazine and its own website, and they have merged it into the Schoolhouse Teachers. So now you have access to all of the back issues of the Molly Green magazines. Um, all of they've got some ebooks that you can have access to, and so that is a part of your membership. They also have this page called um, Focused Learning Centers. And wait for it to come up here. Okay, this is where if you need a little bit of extra help um, in a particular area, it's a place that gives you a little bit of uh, pinpointed help in specific areas and things like math and reading and science. There's preschool, there's focus on special needs or high school, um, Charlotte Mason Learning Center, Career Center, um, Foreign Language Center. So there's lots of different things that help you if you need particular help in a certain area. They also have a high school helps page. And once it comes up, okay. Here's where it can help you. Um, there's some ebooks that they've uh, offered that you can access that have to do with like homeschooling a high schooler, how to you know prepare trans transcripts, how to prepare for college, um, you know, lots of different things here that have to do with the high school that you can access. There's a special needs area, and this is if you have a special needs child and a lot of times um, it can be a struggle. And this is one area that I'm looking into some more because I think I've got one of my, my youngest, I think may have some form of dyslexia. And so he has really struggled with reading. And so this is an area that has some helps for things like that. If you want to um, take a look at those things, then they have a literacy center. And this is also, you know, has to do with reading if your child is struggling with reading, it has a whole area um, with books that you can download, like Easy Readers. There's, um, there's a whole help area to kind of help you determine where your child is at. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, all the different things that you can, you know, it's got, I can name all lowercase letters in random order and then it gives you some different things that you can use to help, you know, gain that skill. So there's just a lot here if you've got um, 
on that literacy center if you have a child that's struggling to read. All right, so that was the focused learning centers. Let me go back here. Okay, then we've got an area that's just for parents. And this area has links to um, courses that you can take. I mentioned earlier, there's, there's courses on parenting and marriage and homeschooling. There's all kinds of stuff that you can choose from that can help you as a parent, as a homeschooling parent. There's even unit studies for parents. Hopefully it'll come up here. But there's Bible studies, parenting articles, there's um, things on whole, food, whole foods cooking, on household tasks, how to organize, how to streamline your household tasks. There's lots and lots here. Some of them are video based. Some of them are articles to read. It's just taking a bit to load. Okay, so here we go. Here's some of the, the courses. They've got like the, you know, if you've got a baby, it's got some helps there. It's got building faithful kids, building faithful marriages. There's a Charlotte Mason course. So there's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of things there in the, the helps for parents. There's even links up here to report card creators and things like that. So... Let me go back up here and see what else I need to share with you. Okay. Let me open up a few more tabs here. We've got a parent ebook library. We've got the Schoolhouse Expos. We've got monthly menu. Um the trade magazine is actually the old schoolhouse magazine where you can uh, get copies of the, where you can order. I think you can get copies of the print magazine just at cost or for shipping only. And you can also on that trade magazine, you can also access the digital, the digital archives for free. So, all right, let me go here to the parent ebook library. And this, this section has, if you've been uh, familiar at all with the Old Schoolhouse magazine, over the years they've created a lot of different ebooks um, from uh, homeschooling related ebooks. Here's the, you know, okay, let me click one more link to get there. But it's got all the Molly Green magazines in there, all the Old Schoolhouse small ebooks that they put together on different topics. So there's all kinds of stuff on homeschooling. I mean, just, there's just so much here. On all kinds of topics, homeschooling topics. There's devotionals for moms. Anyway, but there's a ton of different, and they're all PDF files, so you can just click on them and download them to your computer. And you have access to all of that. There's finances, talking about public schools, various topics. Anyway, there's just so much here. There's just a lot of different things here that you can download. Now the expos, these are actually, I think, some audio files that you can download of um, the Schoolhouse Expos. I don't know if they are still... Yeah, it looks like they're still doing the expos, at least some, but you can go to these links and and probably download the audio files for the expo, which is kind of like a homeschool conference type thing. This one, the monthly menus, this one is really fun. Actually, this past week, I found a recipe on here and a couple recipes, actually, and I made them for dinner. It was a main dish and a dessert recipe, and I used them. And... Uh, so here is that for each month, they have a recipe for each day of the month. 
Then down here on the bottom, this is actually where I found the recipes that I used. They have some recipe books. They've got some slow cooker recipe books. There's In the Kitchen with Molly. It can, contains 12 weeks of menu plans. Um, Molly makes $5 dinners and $3 desserts. Molly makes $7 slow cooker suppers. And then there's a holiday one. So those are kind of fun if you want some menu planning um, helps and some new recipes to try. We really enjoyed the recipes that I tried. Here is a page where you can download the certificate of completion. There's a bunch of different options that you can choose from. And basically it's, you can print it out and you write down the course, their name and the course that they completed and then date it and sign it as just a way to kind of confirm that they have completed this, the, the course and that's something they can put in their portfolios for school. Okay, and this last page I want to show you is the help charts. This is a really fun page. I was really excited to see this because I saw a lot of these charts that I can use with my kids. But there's charts that have to do with math. There's um, charts that show like the names of the presidents and the states and the capitals and as soon as it comes up, I will show you. Okay, so here's some uh, they even have like types of poetry. There's the 13 colonies and information about each of them. There's a sign language, just sh showing the sign language alphabet, the continents, the periodic table, multiplication table, the history timeline, geometric figures. Here's countries and capitals, Latin roots, Greek roots, cloud types, branches of government. Uh, Roman Roman numerals, U.S. capitals, U.S. presidents, and here's some high school and college prep um, printables that you can use even. And then there's some more calendar printables that looks like, and there's a lot more stuff down here. There's ruled lined paper that you can download, weekly planners and printouts, all kinds of stuff that you can use. So that was in the, the resources section. Now the videos page, this page, like I said, the Schoolhouse Teacher site does have a lot of video uh, curriculum that it uses. Um, it does have, a lot of them do have worksheets and stuff that go with it or workbooks and coloring pages and all kinds of stuff depending on the age. But they decided to make a page that linked up all of the videos that they have on their site and it's divided up by topic. So there's quick links up here. It's divided by topic. Um, and I thought it was divided by age too. Maybe it's just by topic. So then you can go through each of these topics and you can kind of, once it comes up, I'll show you, but then you can kind of scroll, scroll through the different videos that are available. So let me find one just so I can show you how it works. If it will come up. Again, I apologize. It's probably a combination of my internet speed and the website is probably kind of busy, but it's probably most likely my, my internet and I apologize. But I just wanted to get you give you a feel for all the things that are included with the membership. It's kind of overwhelming, um, but it's it's really helpful, and it's going to be something that I'm going to be really excited to use. All right, here it's almost loaded. Here's where it shows some of the kids' videos. And this page would be a wonderful resource if you want to just add some things to your school time. Maybe you already have a curriculum that you're using for something, but you want maybe to have just something extra to go with it. So you could go on here and search for a video that would go along with whatever you're studying. Uh, 
Okay, it's not going to take. We'll just wait it out here because I want to show you this because um, cause like I said, it is overwhelming the amount of information that is on here. And I want to show you too, there is a really neat feature that they have on the site where you can create collections of bookmarks. So what I have done, let me, I'll just go back. Let me go back to the main page here. Okay, if you go to the member dashboard, which is kind of your dashboard. When you're a member, you click on it and it kind of is your home page, kind of. Okay, if you go down here, okay, here's where it shows my bookmarks. Okay, so I created bookmarks. I've got one for science and history. I've got one for a couple of my kids. I bookmarked some things and for me. So like for science, I had bookmarked The one course that I was thinking about doing with the kids was that physics. Okay, so I had I had bookmarked that for for science. For one of my kids, I bookmarked a couple of different things. Can't remember what I bookmarked. Uh, oh, a keyboarding lesson and pre-algebra. And for history, I marked something that looked interesting. Oh lighting the way lessons and that is actually a series of kind of the heroes of the christian faith there's videos and workbook things that go along with it and then for me i bookmarked it's actually a video course called it starts at home and that was something that i wanted to do so you can use this bookmark feature um when you're on the course pages let me just let me just go to one of these. When you're on each of the, the course pages on like the lessons, the class lesson page, it gives you a place where you can bookmark it. And so this would be an easy way. Okay, so here is the lesson page. Okay, here's the bookmark. Sorry, it jumped. Let me go back down here. Okay, so here's where I could create a new bookmark and then I could I could select, you know, what I want to bookmark and then add it. So it's an easy way if you want to keep track of what each of your kids is doing. You can create a bookmark for them, a collection for them, and then bookmark all of their courses so that they could just go to that home page and find the ones that are bookmarked for them. So I love that because, the, again, there is so much on here that it's kind of um, kind of overwhelming to try to remember what you looked at and when you looked at it. So if you want to, you can go through things and kind of bookmark ideas as you have ideas and then come back to them later and decide for sure what you want to do. Okay, still waiting for these videos. I know this is probably a lot on this page. Um, but I wanted to show you just because just wanted to show you the magnitude of what is included on here. Okay. Hopefully this will load so I can, I want to go to one of these video courses that's on the Right Now Media, just so you can see how it works. One thing I appreciate about Schoolhouse Teachers, too, is that it is a, a Christian based website. And so if there are any videos or materials that reference things that contradict the Christian faith, they will actually make note of that 
to warn you as a parent so that before you have your child watch something or read something, you're aware ahead of time if that material contains something that may contradict what what we believe as Christians. So I like that aspect of it too, because it just is a way, a way to help me be better prepared when I'm teaching my kids. I'm going to get this video site to come up if I can help it, but. <laughs> because there's so much here that I want you to, well, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'll just get one of these to come up and then I'm gonna click over to one. And they really do have a lot of high school level classes, um, which I was impressed because sometimes those high school level classes are harder to put together but they do have access to a bunch of high school level classes that you can use. And again, while this is loading, I'll just tell you a little bit more about uh, the membership. When you become a member, it is a family membership, which means you have access to the website for your complete family, for all of your children. So you don't have to buy membership for each child. It's your membership covers all of the children in your family. So I love that too, because, you know, I, I bought a yearly membership and when I figured up the, the courses that I was going to be using, it was way cheaper than if I would have had to go out and buy the curriculum to make up for all of those courses. So, Really, it's, you know, you could, a lot of these things, especially the high school level classes, you would pay as much to buy curriculum for one subject as you would pay for a whole year of membership in this Schoolhouse Teachers website. So it's well worth the money and um, I'm more than excited to be able to give you a peek at it. It's not wanting to cooperate and I'm so sorry. I was hoping that I could show you one of the videos, but it may not, it may not cooperate. So apologize for that, but there are tons of videos. Um, all the videos from the courses are all linked right here by subject. So it kind of helps you if you want to go through and find something that you want to watch with the kids that pertains to what you're studying. And it's just a quick way for you to, to get to a video and to search for something. Okay, I'll see if I can get back to the main website. I think I've covered everything in the membership that I can think of. Um, but as you can see, it is really a website for the whole family. It's just, it's amazing how much information and coursework is there available for you. And uh, I just want to encourage you to uh, go ahead and take a look at Schoolhouse Teachers and you can browse around in all the courses and you can, a lot of them have sample lessons that you can look at. So you can try to figure out if there's something there that you would, um, if there's something there, it kind of gives you an idea for the, the types of lessons that there are and what they look like. So I just encourage you to go around and take a look at the site, browse around at the different courses, see if there is something, um, see if this is something that you think your family could use. And if you're not sure, you can always sign up for, you don't have to buy a year at a time, you can buy a month and go month to month. And so if you want to give it a shot, you can try it out. I'm not sure if you can do, it used to be you could do the first month for $5 and then uh, 
and then it bumped up to the regular monthly price. I'm not sure if you can do that still, but you can, uh, can give it a try and see if it's something that your family would like to use. I hope this has helped. I know it's been long, but I wanted to give you a full, uh, a full review of everything that is here. And again, I am really excited about it and looking forward to using it for this coming school year and even some over the summer. And uh, I hope this has helped and I hope that it has encouraged you to give schoolhouse teachers a look and see if this isn't something that would benefit your family. Thanks a lot and have a great day.